You're like the Elon Musk of perfumes. <laughs> That's a good one. There I you haven't go. thought about that one. <laughs> So you've designed scents for some big A-list celebrities. Yes. Jamie Foxx, Katie Holmes, Susan Sarandon, Zendaya. Yes. Why do they come to you? So in this day and age of selfies, everybody is looking to really express themselves and the opportunity to have your own custom scent is now readily available. So I have to ask, did yeah. Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes come in together? Good question. <laughs> so Jamie came in on his own. Okay to actually create a fragrance for Katie. Wow. And then she came in and we had a nice, lovely individual consultation. And then I said, well, let's make something for Suri and for Jamie. So that was my <laughs> gift to her. <laughs> I like to say, you know, why wear what everybody else wears when you can really create your own? Well, why don't we go to the perfumery? I'll show you where the magic happens. <laughs> Where does the process start? Well, the, it first starts with taking a scent quiz. Well, I have it right here in my hand. Yes, and you took it, which is great, because a lot of people really don't know what type of fragrance they like. They might know the brand. Well, a brand might have 15 or 20 fragrances. There are eight different fragrance mm -hmm. families, but we narrowed it down to four main ones, which really helps to simplify the process. So there are fresh, floral, woodsy, and oriental. And the quiz helps determine your olfactory preferences. And I, some of my favorite questions on here, it said, you're happiest when you sniff, A, an antique bookshop, yes. the sea air, a flower shop, or a, a bakery. bakery. And I said an antique bookshop. I just love the smell of old books and that kind of just nostalgic feeling. And so that's in the... In the A category. Mm -hmm. So the A category is mostly outdoor, woodsy, natural, classic. I'm dying to know what Elon Musk smells like, or what at least he should smell like? Well, first of all, he's very powerful. Now, the name Musk, of course, is a wonderful <laughs> entree into something a little musky. I want to know, what does space smell like? I call this ozonic. And that's like ozone, ozonic? Very ozone yes. Oh, yeah. Very sort of light, very citrus. A little like after a, it rains. Yes, do you want to smell the smell of fresh cut grass? Sure. This is, it's a little sharp in the beginning, but it's This just... might be good for Elon Musk because, you yes. know, he is now a little bit of a famous marijuana smoker. Oh my so goodness. So fresh cut grass. <laughs> I'm going to show you something that I think would be really wonderful for Elon. And you might like this one too. So this is what I call a sporty tonic fragrance. Uh, you know, juniper berry is in here and juniper berry is what gin is made from. It does sort of smell like a gin and tonic. It smells like a gin and tonic. It's masculine, it's sporty, it's robust. Yeah. So now let's see how this combines. Wow. Brian. The moment I'm waiting for. This is my version, our version, of what you think Elon Musk would smell like. Mmm. I love it. Yes. A little uh, down the shirt. Yes. Whoa. And I'm going to send people that are smelling me and go, what is that? Is that Burberry? Is that Chanel? And I'll say, oh no, it's, it's, it's Sue. It's you. Let me smell you. Mmm. You smell right. divine. I'm coming out with you tonight. <laughs> <laughs>